News right now out of Pittsburgh. A verdict has been reached in the sentencing phase, uh, this part of the trial, for the 2018 Tree of Life synagogue shooter who killed 11 people in the deadliest anti-Semitic attack in U.S. history. Let's bring in NBC News correspondent Rahima Ellis, who's following all this. What can you tell us, Rahima? What I can tell you is that we're in the eligibility phase of whether or not this defendant, Robert Bowers, could be eligible for the death penalty. That's what this jury is, is considering. They convicted him, found him guilty of murdering some 11 people uh, almost four and a half years ago at that Tree of Life synagogue in Pittsburgh. The prosecution, the federal government, wanted him to get the death penalty. The defense has been arguing that their client is mentally impaired and not criminally or intentionally criminal. They say, according to the defense, that he has schizophrenia, that he has brain damage, that he is impaired, and therefore should not be subject to the death penalty. But the prosecution rejected all of that, saying that they see no evidence of that kind of mental impairment, talked about the fact that he had amassed weapons and ammunition and deliberately targeted this synagogue in Pittsburgh to kill specifically Jews. So, again, the verdict on guilty had been determined. What they were doing now is trying to determine whether he should be eligible to have the death sentence considered for the final sentencing. We know there is a verdict in that. We're just waiting for it to be read in court.